Good evening. Taking revenge on a cheating lover or the person with whom your lover is cheating no longer requires a dramatic public confrontation. You can now bring life-altering shame through a simple blog post. Tonight, we're going to take you behind the scenes of an extremely controversial new website. This is a story that involves love, betrayal, humiliation, and pressing new questions about fairness and privacy. Here's ABC's Lindsay Davis. I really, really am. Sorry about it. I really am. Dana Scott's tears and apologies were not enough for the woman who claims Dana almost ruined her marriage by having a year and a half affair with her husband. If Dana can't handle the humiliation of all of this, then you shouldn't have slept with someone else's husband. Insults, derogatory names, even death wishes. I hope you end up with AIDS, asshole. All posted online about Dana on a website that you just might consider 2013's answer to the scarlet letter. I looked at it last night for the first time in months and just started bawling my eyes out. If hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, the social media age has invented a whole new way to fan the flames. It's called She's a Homewrecker.com, and three years after she says her affair with a married man ended, 29 year old Dana Scott found her name and location plastered on the site. I remember thinking, okay, he's married, but he's kind of flirty. And at some point, he tried to kiss me. That's when he told me he was actually, you know, separated and they were talking divorce. Did you think he was gonna leave her for you? That is what he told me. But he didn't leave, and now his wife and hundreds of others in the same boat are able to seek revenge online. But hold on. You From ABC's know. mistresses. Because I'm just the whore who slept with your husband. You said it, not me. To the adulterous romance on Scandal. I will leave him, and I will take his children with me. I will take every penny he has in the bank. I will bury him and I will dance on his grave. The other woman is having a major on-screen moment. And for those in real life who live by the creed, revenge is a dish best served cold. This is your punishment. This, you want to do the crime, do the time. This is the woman behind She's a Homewrecker.com. She goes by the alias Ariella Alexander. She says it's a place for wives and girlfriends to publicly flog the other woman for sleeping with their husband. It can follow you for the rest of your life. You appear up on Google. You're, I mean, everyone now knows what you've done. And if one woman maybe will think that, hey, uh, I don't even want a part of this. The site, which has more than a quarter of a million likes on Facebook, posts the names, pictures, and often torrid details about these accused homewreckers and their alleged adulterous ways. She's a Homewrecker is a new twist on the booming trend of online revenge, one of a barrage of websites that allow jilted lovers or angry exes to humiliate their former flings from the comfort of their home. It was just a way for me to vent. 29-year-old Noemi Sanchez says she found solace on the site after she says she discovered her husband of nearly eight years was cheating. And this came completely out of left field for you? Yes, just like that, I was in shock. Here I was seven months pregnant. While pregnant with his third baby, she says her husband told her he wanted a divorce. I checked the cell phone bill and sure enough, there's pages upon pages of just one number. And I called it, and that's when she answered. Noemi was so upset, she decided to take revenge, posting personal details and photos of a woman she says stole her husband. She, a.k.a. the alleged homewrecker, is now married to Noemi's ex-husband and has a three-month-old baby with him. Ah, Jenny. One year younger than Noemi's youngest son. It does hurt when I see my baby because he's never going to have the family that my other two kids had. <laughs> Why go on to this website singling her out? Uh, really, isn't it your husband that has the loyalty to you to, to be faithful? Right. I didn't say it was all her. I said that it was also him. And you were willing to forgive him? Yes, I was. Are you willing to forgive her? No. I just feel that you shouldn't mess with a married man. You know, you're taking somebody's uh, 
father away, somebody's husband. The site has gotten a flurry of media attention in the past couple of weeks, some calling it slut shaming, pitting women against women. But Ariella sees it differently. Go right ahead, trash me until you're blown in the face. Because if women love women so much, women wouldn't be sleeping with other women's husbands. At the end of the day, it's about respect. As a woman, I am not going to sleep with somebody else's husband. I am not going to flirt with somebody else's husband. I'm not going to involve myself in somebody else's marriage. Why would I do that? But for those like Dana Scott, who find themselves humiliated online, she says the punishment doesn't fit the crime. Do you think he loved you? I don't know. Now I don't know. I thought, I thought he did. About a year into the affair, Dana got pregnant with his baby. Were you happy? Yeah, I was happy because I've always wanted a baby, you know? I wasn't happy about the situation or the circumstances. Was he happy? Yes, he was happy. And so at this point, you're really certain that you, he's going to leave his wife and be with you? And Absolutely. You guys, and what makes it finally end? Me realizing he's not going to leave her. So I actually called and I just, I told her everything and I apologized. Was she crying or? No, she was very, very calm. Um, I was the one hysterical because I felt so guilty. Um, I guess I never thought about her family during all of this. And being pregnant, I realized what was going on and what I was doing. And I wasn't proud. I wasn't happy. You're so silly. Dana had the baby while he stayed with his wife. And since then, she says she's been harassed by his wife for years. Then three months ago, it culminated with this post. What does the website say? That I'm a homewrecker, I'm a whore. Worst colorful things. language <laughs> that I don't want to repeat. Are you a homewrecker? No, I'm not a homewrecker. He is a homewrecker. The home was already wrecked before I was ever even in the picture. Dana began receiving vicious messages online, many from strangers. Strangers? are the worst. They are ones like, oh, she should die, kill her, calling my son a bastard, when they don't even have any idea about what's going on. But what I don't understand is why I'm getting all the brunt of this when he was the one, he's the one married to her. He's the one who made a vow to her under God. I want to move on with my life. Dana's about to finish nursing school and now fears the website will hurt her chances at a good job. I'm a good nurse, but to think of a future employer Googling me, reading all of those comments on that website, seeing all of those things, who would want to hire me? Dana is just one of hundreds of women bashed on the site. And when ABC News contacted these alleged homewreckers, they told us we could show their photos because they say they're innocent victims in a game of online shame. Like Brittany from North Carolina, who was viciously slammed on the site. She says the post is completely false and tells us these websites have the power to destroy someone's life, a form of cyberbullying. But surprisingly, she's a homewrecker.com isn't breaking any laws because the website isn't actually posting the accusations. As of now, it's perfectly legal. It is tough. I get um, threats of lawsuits every single day. I have attorney's letters. I have people threatening to sue me, people threatening to put me in jail. For her to create some revenge website to teach women a lesson, who does she think she is? I mean, that's not your job. That's not your job to judge. Oh, look, mommy got makeup on you. Dana's former <laughs> lover and his wife declined comment when contacted by ABC News. Noemi Sanchez says she doesn't plan on taking her home record post down anytime soon. I would like for her to say, look, I came between you guys. I'm sorry. It happened. That's that. That's all I want is an apology, you know, because she knows what she did. When contacted by ABC News, Noemi's ex-husband and his now wife said the website is based off opinion. They claim he and Noemi were separated at the time they got together, and they're tired of all the harassment. So if they're watching, is there a message? I guess to him, just step up and be a father to your kids. And to her, um, be careful because there's homeworkers out there. For Nightline, I'm Lindsay Davis in Fort Hood, Texas.